Ectoparasites. The literal meaning of ectoparasite is external parasite. The first ectoparasite that we will discuss is lice. Lice is a flat, wingless insect that is transmitted through close contact. It is diagnosed through inspection and treated with ivermectin and good grooming. Fleas are one of the most common ectoparasites. Adult fleas feed on pet's blood. Please read through the next two slides to understand the life cycle of fleas. If your pet has very persistent itching and scratching, they may have fleas. To detect if your pet does indeed have fleas, you will need to examine and determine if you see flea dirt. If flea dirt is present, you should put some on a wet surface and smear. If blood is present, your pet has fleas. If your pet has fleas and goes untreated, it can cause hair loss, severe itching and scratching, and anemia. Pets get fleas from their environment and other animals. To prevent your animal from getting fleas, you should use a flea preventative. There are topical and oral forms of flea preventatives, but the most commonly used are the monthly treatments. If your animal has fleas, you should not treat with a flea collar. You should use other suggested treatments and always treat the environment when you treat the animal. Animals get ticks from environments like woodlands, grasslands, and shrubs. Ticks detect movements and shadows and crawl onto passing hosts. When removing a tick from your animal, you, sh you should never use your fingers. You should apply alcohol and use tweezers to pull the entire tick out. Do not twist, turn, or squeeze when removing a tick. Not removing a tick can pose the risk of several diseases, including Lyme disease, tick paralysis, ehrlichia, tularemia, and Rocky Mounted Spotted Fever. These diseases can be transmitted to humans, but only from ticks. Humans cannot contract these diseases from their animal. Cats get ear mites from close contact with other cats. Ear mites cause itching, infection, inflammation, and irritation. Diagnoses of ear mites are determined by microscopic ear exams of ear wax or, or the mites are visually present. There are, there are several ways to treat ear mites, including ivermectin, revolution, topical OTC, tresiderm, and acarex. Ear mites generally do not affect humans. Humans cannot get ear mites, but humans can develop a small, treatable rash. Demodex is a mite that lives in the hair follicles of dogs and cats. Demodex is transferred from the mother in the early first few days of life. Symptoms of Demodex include hair loss of a localized area or when more than two parts of the body are affected. Diagnosis is done through a skin scrape or a fecal. Demodex is not transferable to humans. There are several ways to treat Demodex depending on the severity. If the disease affects the entire animal, the treatment will be slow. All secondary infections must be treated and oral ivermectin must be given daily. Scabies are small, circular mites that burrow in the skin of animals. Animals get scabies from close contact to other animals. Scabies can be transmitted to humans through direct, usually prolonged contact. Symptoms of scabies include intense puritis-inducing self-mutilation, alopecia, secondary skin infections, and distribution of lesions. Scabies is usually very hard to diagnose and usually takes multiple skin scrapings. Scabies is treated through ivermectin, revolution, lime sulfur, interceptor, and frontline spray.